Okay, number nine asks me to do two things. It says calculate the absolute and relative unfairness. All right, so you're going to calculate absolute and relative unfairness. So the absolute and the relative. So there's two answers here. Okay, well, in order to find the absolute unfairness, first I have to figure out the average constituency of these two companies. You've got company A with 6,720 stockholders, and they received seven members on the board. So the AC, the average constituency of company A, will be 6,000. 720 divided by seven members. And when I do that, I get 960. And then you have to do company B with 4,625 stockholders and they received five members. So the average constituency of company B is 4,625 divided by the five members. And that comes out to be 925. So this is step one, figuring out the two average constituencies. And then step two, I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna calculate the absolute unfairness and the absolute unfairness is simply found by taking the larger absolute, um, or I'm sorry, the larger average constituency minus the smaller one. And when I do that, I get the answer to absolute, which ends up being 35. So actually 35 will be the first number you put into my math lab and I think you get a positive affirmation for that and then part the next part pops up which will be step three and that is going to be finding the relative unfairness and the relative unfairness is taking the absolute unfairness which is the 35 and dividing it by the smaller of the two average constituencies which would be the 925 and then, of course, it does say right here, round to three decimal places. So when I do the division and I round off, I get 0 0.038. And that'll be the second answer I put into my math lab. So you either get one or two positive affirmations, but that's how you work problem number nine.